<laughs> okay. <laughs> um, um, I've been struggling uh, for some time um, now, not knowing whether to do a video, an audio, um, write something up, uh, go live, I, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I just said, screw it, uh, let me just flip this camera and talk, you know, do the hardest things for any man to do is number one, to apologize, and number two is to throw in the towel and just say, I'm done. <laughs> like, yo, I'm done. Those are two of the hardest things, apologizing and just throwing in the towel. So let me start with apologizing. Um... So first of all, I just want to take this chance to apologize to each and every person who's believed in me. It's been 15 years in this game called social media. Uh, a lot has happened. We've done so much and a lot of people have believed in me. And equally, a lot of people have not believed in me. Way, way more have not believed in me. Um, I just want to take this chance to apologize to each and every person who's been supporting me and believe that we could... Uh, actually um, fight for change and start the change in this country, um, win Westlands and win the hearts of many young people, get guys out there to vie and win. It's sad that I have to drop out. Uh, I, I can't. And I'm sorry to all of you guys, to uh, Imani and Michelle, my speechwriters, uh, amazing work. We've been doing Abu, oh Abu, for everything you've done, Abu. Um, getting the party um, name secured. One of the, the hardest things we ever did, by God, securing the party name. Um, to Matt, designing the RDP uh, logo, because we were coming up with a party called RDP, Restoration Development Party. This amazing young people's party. Um, uh, to Curia, to everybody, Gitch, to everybody who supported. Um, thank you. Uh, but unfortunately, I can't continue. I can't lie to myself that I will lie and I will campaign and I'll still do politics and win and change the minds and everything sugary, spicy and everything nice. <laughs> Keep up after that we had promised. We, we can't, I can't deliver. And it's good enough for me to do this video and talk to you guys because a lot of you guys don't know what's going on. Some of you guys know what's going on. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's crazy. So I, I thought, let me just do a video to uh, explain this and understand what's happening in my life and chain, uh, and the chain that's coming and everything that's going on. So I'm sorry. Um, why am I not buying? I got three reasons why I'm not uh, vying and that brings me to the second point I said the two hardest things for a man and I'm going to apologize the second is to throw in the towel and accept defeat I accept defeat and that the reason as to why I am not vying is because I have accepted that I have been defeated because of these three things and number one I'm broke <laughs> I discovered that this, in this country you need money to to vie. you need money to make change you need money for people to vote for you you need money to for anything to move and anything to work and i'm young uh, ever since i said that i want to get into politics i've been getting a lot of offers you can imagine left right and center um clean money not so clean money extremely not clean money <laughs> it's fucked up <laughs> this country is screwed up uh i think what you're going to and I have been in social media for 15 years. I've worked my ass out for 15 years. I, I live where I deserve and I wear what I deserve and I, I go to places that I deserve because I have worked my ass out like every normal young Kenyan should. And I believe that I do not need to dirty my hands or get or get into shady deals or do whatever uh, that's dirty so that I can create. I've had those offers, man. Uh, when I came to you guys and I told you guys, please help me fundraise. Uh, the few of you who believed we raised 30,000 Kenyan shillings. Um, we paid oh, <laughs> hundreds of thousands just to secure a kapati name, secure a name. Mind you, we sent almost 300 names to that office of ORPP. <laughs> we have less than 100 
political parties registered in Kenya, but in 300 freaking names, none of them was accepted. It's screwed up in this country. It is screwed up to the higher, it, it stinks to the highest call. Um, I'm broke. I need 15, around 20 million uh, estimates say for me to, to actually clinch this. And, and Kidogo Kidogo, the way I've tested the waters, I need roughly 20 million would be very Kidogo. I need like 30 to 50 million to win because everybody now is jumping in. Uh, so I don't have money. I won't lie to myself. I'm not that fool to say that I'll waste my uh, my life savings. All this 15 years that I just go poor out I, I I can't I can't do that I can't do that I thought that I would fight the politics of the mind uh, of change but <laughs> brings me to the second point as why I'm, I'm 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 dropping out Kenyans are not ready for change you are not to see let us not talk Kenyans you are not you're not ready for change Kenyans are not fed up you are not. I think it be right now. I don't think if, um, l l hypothetically speaking, we wake up and then uh, fuel is 500 shillings. Which can do you think Kenyans would go on the streets? Wa Kenya wagani? Right now. Baba mwenye alikuwa na tusaidia kuenda kwa street mwenyewe, squeezy. Eh? Hameenda hivo. Eh? Kidogo kidogo na dhani ruto naya na UDA yake ata kusaidia. Ama wetangula, baba, whatever, all these other poli. Unadhani wata kusaidia? No, no, no. No, Kenyans are not ready for change. No, no, no. I'm to end up streets. I'm to end up streets. I'm to end up. I'm easy end up. Kenyans. I'm to, it, it will be politicized. The love it Aisha Araka. No, politics aside. It's like you can get a poly. Because it's, it's, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. Kenyans are not ready for change. If you people are ready for change, I think young people would stop hating, would talk about issues that actually affect them. If Kenyans were ready for change, why are we still fighting to vote the same people who screwed us up in the, in the other government? I can come back to the government to screw up. We know that. No, no. Labda see Uhuru. What do you Uhuru? I don't give a damn, but you see, Uhuru is the president. The whole government screwed us up. Um, the same people flipped from Jubilee, Wanajita UDA, and you'll still vote, vote for the same people. Squeezy Baba, Pia Mikwe Jubilee, all of them, everyone is, every, it's, it's just like, I'm not hating, I'm not, I'm just telling you the fact as it is. Call me whatever, I don't give a fuck. At a, I cut comments, I don't need your comments. I'm just telling you the fact as it is. Uh, and you see, Imefi um, Kenyans want money, Kenyans uh, are bitter, Kenyans are all this, but change? No, 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 you don't want change. Right now, politics is not about the mind, it's not about... Akili, hey, tafanya fanya hivi to I don't know. Kenyans are difficult to point to If you don't have money, you cannot. And as a, as a young politician, if you are there, man, say, no one akina anita so ina na kimbi ya kimbi ya kuma pick up zaruto uko. Uh, and one of Jalang on a funny thing, uh, Karen Yamu on a panda panda uko kiambias dui. Uh, it's crazy, young people, what you guys are doing. But if you don't have money, bro, kauna pesa man, say, it's, it's a dream in this Kenya. And I hope, I really hope and pray young people get this. Yeah, Kenyans are not ready for change. It's it's fucked up. You're not ready. You're not ready to to listen. You're not ready for that intellectual conversation. Nimbado muko muko tribal politics, muko party politics, muko. It's crazy. I I really hoped. You see, I I I was vying because I wanted young people to see that we can actually vibe. I wanted young people to get in and change. It wasn't about XTN, Okay. Well, I have to many bring down because I've been brought down. She's what I'm doing this video because I was brought down. I'm going to tell you how. Um, well, I have to many bring down. Okay, now you're my action is not buying, but has Kenya changed? Has the situation changed? On honor. You're not ready for change. If you are ready for change, you're going to manze. Extra na kisi mama, acha to support. No, no. Acha to support uki jana. Na to support uki jana wengi na wasimame. Si, si kuangusha ex. Not, 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 not cutting my feet. Not. Not ready for change, number two. Number three, the reasons to why I am stepping down, it's... Ew, the cyberbullying is getting out of hand. It was funny when it started. It was... It was... <laughs> but... It's gotten out of hand. To the point that I can't even fucking risk to put my... 
my baby's uh, face on the internet. I can't even think about it. Now I am hiding everything about me because yo, if everything you see, you'll just hate it. It's 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 crazy how. And I'm gonna I'm gonna speak passionately about cyberbullying because because this is something I have never spoken about in my entire life. In the year 2015, I almost killed myself because of cyberbullying. I was accused of of, of I don't know. Uh, conning or doing some shit I never did. Audios were edited. It fucked me up. Almost killed myself. And two years later, when the real truth came out, and I have audios for all this, I got now friends coming back. Saying, oh, Extian, sorry. Yeah, uh, we're sorry, Extian. Yeah, what we are talking about you that won't gonna try con kinabidko ilikuwa wongo. Uh, we, nini, nini. It, it, it got so fucked up I almost killed myself and I've never talked about this shit uh, it got so fucked up and I'm even thinking about suing these guys because they have the, the audios and everything I want to sue these guys I almost, almost killed myself my friends deserted me and everything um, that was 2015 got fucked up uh, 2021, now my family is here. Um, I said that I want to vie uh, for politics and become MP. So what happened is immediately people heard that Extian is vying uh, for MP. People started hating. People started attacking me, looking left, right and center without even understanding what you're saying and what you're claiming and what you're pushing and what you're saying. It's, it's, it's fucked up how pe someone would just wake up in the morning and just decide to eat because hawezi pata ile kitu mtu akonayo umeona ama hawezi fikiria kama huyo mtu i don't know why instead of young people in this country kusaidia na ku grow we are, the, we are the first people to bring each other down it it hurts me um that <laughs> when when i when i tried to to fundraise for politics uh, you people called me a scam that I just want to swindle your money. Ni ibe, ni I didn't I didn't want to actually do anything. Yo time mnonge evil man. Mtu wangu mepanga line pale ORPP pale WST. Yeah. <laughs> a whole month jamana mpatia fair tu akienda kwa ofisi every day kuangalia kama kama political party ni mimi itaachiliwa na itaachiliwa in time. Kumbe wanashikilia tu wanacheza ma monkey tu. Eh mdosi liko kwa ofisi. All this time <laughs> What one of you two shit? And I said, make sure that I was calm. Ah, kilo kilo go action a kafkiya nina. So decided, yo, let me start a property company. And I came up with an idea that was just out of this my wild, wild I mean, it just crazy. I said, okay, think about this. As young people, we want we want to own property, but the hardest thing to do right now, we don't have that that float. Uh, to own property and i can't i can't pay i can't pay half a million for a property right now i can't but if you tell me uh every week nearly pay 1500 i can actually do that uh if i want to to jenga a building i don't have that whole money but if you tell me jenga for me and then i, I lipa kidogo kidogo in small increments it will make sense so what did i do i, I Went, uh, did my research, did my due diligence, got the certificates, did everything, uh, registered a, a company with Fatma uh, to sell property. And we came up with this solution and we, uh, we, we coded this website with an amazing team. A shout out to Steve, uh, Jimane, uh, Gitonga as well. Um, you guys just do an amazing job, an amazing team. Uh, came up with a system where, imagine, tunakuzi shamba, 950 shillings per week for 52 weeks. Sindio, wona lipa yo. So we did our maths, dini nini, flee to Malindi, camped there, got the lands, got the property, got everything, to kanza kuzo. So me, in my mind, I'm thinking, I said, these young people, what are you saying? I said, I'm going to use your shamba in a way that we can afford. Um, even imagine, we, give, we, we actually give you even, I think, three months not paying. Imagine we, you can skip to pay like for three months uh, or something like, like, like that. Um, I thought Kenyans were like, hey, manze, ex, you know, me fikiria, kijana, me fikiria. So, lacha tum support to buy shamba, kijana, for the face of your politics. 
<laughs> hey, Kenyans, what a kushtua, bro. Yo, I don't know. Yeah, guys are like, hey, haya. Anja kwa politician. Hey, ameanza kuzama shamba kijarana omoka. Ah, la, 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 la. Hey, so meet my mind. I'm like, yo, I don't even have the land. No, no. So what I do, come up with a solution, go to Malindi, lock some deals, uh, partner with some guys, sign some agreements, uh, lock the land, come sell the land, pay, get the title lead, which is coming out next month. And I'm thanking God for this uh, and all that. So I come up with an idea, craft it. It actually works. Guys are buying. Nini, nini, and all of a sudden, XTN is a scam. Unaibia watu mashamba, siju yoni. Hey, bro. Mia chani kumbie. Hey. Hey. Wa Kenya wame nifunza vitu, bro. You see, some of us, the fact that we don't talk doesn't mean that we don't have stories. Um, the fact that you don't see me post everything about me, it doesn't mean that I'm not being affected. I'm human. Minim say, bro. Minim, minim to... Mini hasla, me mini mtu ni me hasun kutoka chini. Mi si asiki ati ati. Mi si asiki maliku ni koyu di efa kashi. Mini mini mtu like ni me do koma bro. Mini mtu ni me tebeni kuzo ma sim card ko streets bro. Zile za you. Mi 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 na ilam bogi kuzo ma ma mui ko ko bag. Same was that bro. Ni me do koma bro. Ni me hasun bro. So. Getting to a point where 15 years down the game, we start even a company. I left my scheme to run a quitter scam just because I don't know your idea. I go, I kuna ways you see them to shamba 950 bob per week. Apana, it makes sense. Ah ah, kwani you shamba ni chipaji. Paka unambi yamu tu wewe wewe ngoja. Mimi ebo efikiri. Mimi nataka kuwa politician Westland. Ni anzi shi kampuni taka kuibi a pesa wewe 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 kuibi na mimi nataka. Ebo just think normal common sense. What you efikiri? You don't even understand why I started. You see, uh, something about bad news, it spread so fast. Ba, ni kama mshuto ya mayai. Ah, inakimbia nga hivi naishi. Ah, bro, inakimbia, bro. Bad news spreads fast, manzi. Kwa thamu vijanoka, siki, ah, Excel me come up na nini idea. Ano za shamba, 950. Hey, hey, ah, yo ni uongo. Juhu na pesa ya kununua, doesn't mean ni uongo. Juhu hawelewi ni nini, doesn't mean ni uongo. Juhu hawu kufikiria yu idea, doesn't mean ni uongo. Unanipata? All of a sudden, manzi naskia people are dropping. We saw almost fifty acres naskia almost half the clients. Zai, nataka pesa to back. Company started going down. My guy, we sold out in two weeks. Maybe fifty acres, two weeks. Car to kapiga, kashango na ndelemo. Kido kido kwa skemu tuza ha ni scam. Tukenda kulunch wave two. Ah la la. Hey she she bro, don't screw up everything, man. So mina shanga ama vijana nili omba do. Ni 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 vai ka MP ni wasaidi to to hustle change this country. Wakakata ni kanzia kampuni ni kifikiria they'll think this is the first freaking prop tech company in Africa doing what we're doing. Do you people understand? Have you even gone to a website and have you even created an account on the website and understood exactly what we're trying to do? Ini kitu, bro. Atani kumi the kind of the kind of stuff we're building, the kind of stuff we're doing. For for for, uh, for property in, in in Kenya is is revolutionary, and I hope people saw that and supported rather than ah ni extian ah tu amgushe tu am bro people fought me you guys I just need to be kitumaja and I'm I'm speaking passionately about cyberbullying and about all this because I know it's not just me but a lot of people out there who own online businesses are being attacked right now, um, and it's it's nuts. Someone will call you a scam just because they don't understand your business. Someone will call you a scam because hakuelewa ulisema kuna shipping hakusoma. Kenyans do not freaking read. Haelewi. Ako pale. Ah kidogo kidogo blogs ni ah wewe ni scam umeniibia pesa nini 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 nini. Eh bro, let me come bad news in the spread cam shoot. Let me tell you something. For a fact, if I wasn't XT and Dilla, and I, and I know this for a fact, no cap, if I wasn't me, my property company could have sunk. If I wasn't me, people could have believed that my company was a scam, which is not. If I wasn't me, bro, the little, the little influence I have kind of like shielded my company and me from all this nonsense. 
from all these haters. It is crazy how young people can bring your business down. Do you know how much people have invested in this online business? And I'm speaking on behalf of each and every online business owner in this country. To those clients who don't understand how the business works, how they take time, they screw up, they pay, they just do something when I create a scam. I mean, they, I'm on top, it's, it's, it's screwed up. Before you call someone a scam, Tafadali, understand how much this person has invested, what this business means and how many dependents this business has. Don't just bring someone down with no evidence whatsoever. It is painful to the core being called a scam and you're not. It is it is. <laughs> Being called something that <laughs> oh bro <laughs> Fatma was telling me, hey babe, I've never seen you so pissed off. I've never seen you I've never I've never seen someone question your authenticity and your hard work that you put in by calling you a scam and someone questioning your ideas, someone questioning what you're doing. It's it's without 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 facts. It's, it's, it's nuts. And I pray that this scam attack tag on online businesses stops. If I can be attacked, it's, it's crazy. Kenyans are not ready for change. I remember, I told you three things that may have made me step down and burn a hand broke. Number two, Kenyans are not ready for change. Number three, the cyberbullying. The cyberbullying is out of control, man. I can't even put my kid's face on the internet i can't even post pictures and open the comments people just come to hate for no apparent reason you're hating someone you don't even know you <laughs> do you know <laughs> when all this was happening i had a lot of my personal friends dropping out from the business i am not a scam <laughs> i am hey bro Nimebonga na na familia inasema uh, hii business yenu si legit. Hii business yenu ni fishy. Ya yeah, hizi mashamba mnauza ziko. Mm. Uh, pole. Eh uh, nyinyi ni scam. Mm. It's crazy. <laughs> hey bro. If ever you wanted to know if Xtion was at his lowest. This is my lowest by the way. All my friends went. Eh <laughs> uh, uh, because I don't have money to bribe them. Uh, because uh, without money, you don't keep. You're a politician. You don't have money. Aka. And my friends went. I'm just being here and my wife. Um, you people reported my account. Uh, I don't have an Instagram account. Instagram <laughs> account. <laughs> what the fuck, man. Yeah. Uh, it was my main source of income. Um, I'm, a, I'm a social media guy. I don't make money elsewhere. You guys know from the ads that you guys pay. That's how I make my living. Uh, but right now, I've been forced now to think about other things. And I, I'm thankful enough to um, to Johan and Stefan. Uh, guys at followers.ke. Thank you very much for you guys. Hey, I sent on and Libya. I on internet. Uh, because those guys have been amazing. They gave me the uh, the contract to push to the East African brand. It has grown over and beyond the number one um, social media supermarket in East and Central Africa, going to Africa, uh, helping our Sani Munana kona millions of views. Pale YouTube on our idea sana. That's to Instagram. It's it's a good platform. Even websites as well. Thank you, Johan and Stefan. Amazing work you guys are doing. Um, but I'm low. Nico down. I don't know. I have thrown the towel. Kenyans, you have won. I tried starting to bore to help you guys share what's the, the issues that you guys are being affected with. That It's a lot of things that go through this country and a lot of young people going through a lot. Tobo has really helped a lot of people. We've learned so much, so much, so much. And it's a pain that it, it was brought down by the same people that the boy is supposed to help. You see, stupidity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So I'm done. I'm done trying to help young people. I'm done trying to be good. I'm done trying to be political, to, to do whatever. I'm done. 
I, I thought about casting and doing a live and uh, I don't know. Uh, you, you can even hear from my voice. I am done. Do whatever you want to do with this country. Because Boniface Mwangi said, fuck Kenya, man. Screw Kenya. Uh, the only reason that's why I have this is because it's, it, it has some sentimental value. But Kenya, Namimi, fuck this country. Uh, please allow me from today to not give a fuck about Kenya. To not even care about anything. I've I've tried my best. I've tried being good. I've tried helping. I've tried changing minds, pushing people uh, to see the change, to be better, to make money, to edu I've done it all more than 50. I'm done. Let me focus on my family. Allow me to focus on my family. I've allowed me to focus on my private biashara za nyimu na jaribu kuangusha na hazita anguka. Title deeds are with ones in a token next month. It's all good. Um, but Kenyans, young people, from the bottom of my heart, fuck you. And you who's also watching this, fuck you too. I don't care anymore. I've been bitter. I've been sad. I've been yeah, I'm done. This is the lowest that can ever be. I've told you the story of what's going on and everything. I think I never thought I'd be that fool to record and, and, and a bitch online what, I, like what I'm doing. But I, th I thought it's, it's fair enough for everyone who was, who was supporting me, who, who um, loved XT and Della Club COVID and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm with you what's going on with my life and everything. In terms, in regards with politics and my new life. So, bro, Club COVID no nekirudi by the Nyonga Festival. I'm actually serious about Nyonga Festival. It's becoming an event this year. I'm gonna tell you, give you the dates. Nyonga Festival is coming by the. Nimetoka sasa siyasa by the way. Politics is over. Screw politics. I'm out. I'm now a citizen. Akuna kitu mtani ambia sasa. Akuna eh eh eh. Screw all of you. I don't care. And I'm here, I'm here to market my services as social media. Ni kwapa. Kama unataka ni kawa yu ni politician, unataka ni kumarket, ni kupati strat, ni fanya leta pesa, I am broke right now, I can do anything. Ata kama unataka kunua kura yangu nunua, I don't give a crap about this country called Kenya. Ni mechoka, ni mechana, na ni me, ah, 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 ni lipe. xpandela at gmail.com. That is the email address, xpandela at gmail.com. Tuonge, and I'm out. Thank you very much for bringing me down. Thank you very much for in the, your insults. Thank you very much for um, pulling me down. I was, I was, I was even, I was big, man. Look, I'm slim. I have to wear this freaking jacket to hide the fact that I've slimmed because of you people. I know, bro. I've even changed. You can tell. I'm not the same me. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you, young people, for bringing me down. Thank you, young people, for screwing me. Thank you, young people, for messing up my life. And before I die, because you want to kill me now. Instagram, This is the lowest I've ever been. And this is the lowest you'll ever see me again. And that's a promise.